Hello, it's Chew Dog Charts, and today we're going to talk about oil and ConocoPhillips. What we're looking at here is the real time stock quote chart on the United States oil fund symbol is USO this is a 20 year monthly chart and we can see that the price of USO basically bottomed in 2016 early 2016 and we've gone sideways uh, more or less in the last couple of years however I think uh, some of the oscillators we're going to look at do show that we have improved beginning with the MACD the bottoming began here in 2016 with improvement to the current date. Looking at the histogram, looks like the histogram actually we show perhaps the improvement beginning in as early as 2015. So for the last uh, couple three years things have been improving. That is also shown in the RSI here in 2015 and then in 2016 and the improvement here in the last couple of years. Similar in the stochastic as well as the Williams bottoming here in 2015 and then improving. So if we want to take a look at some stocks I have picked uh, one which is ConocoPhillips so let's take a look at that. This is ConocoPhillips symbol COP again the 20 year monthly chart. Basically ConocoPhillips is emblematic of the the overall market where oil the oil industry got itself into uh, some trouble because they just concentrated on increasing production basically uh, instead of growing the returns for investors. So with regard to ConocoPhillips they seem to have a new plan uh, focusing on forward returns, basically returns to investors, so a better focus on what uh, this is all about. Basically, at the center of ConocoPhillips' strategy is to pay a growing dividend. They did uh, grow uh, dividends, and that uh, uh, has essentially been as well spending enough capital to keep the production flat with uh, Conoco planning to allocate much of the cash flow between the cash returns to shareholders and a growth initiative with stock somewhere around the fifty dollars a barrel and hopefully stabilizing in this area we ought to be able to see the stock Conoco Phillips particularly improve here in the near future and what we see right now is it's at 49.40 at the lightest close and similar to the oil fund things bottomed in 2016 but as opposed to the oil fund it looks like the uh, the price the stock price of ConocoPhillips has improved if you remember USO pretty much traded sideways with the oscillators showing the improvement but not the the price here ConocoPhillips does show some price improvement now looking in the MACD I think uh, we also see the bottom in 2016 with the improvement and that is going to be um, similar to what we show in the histogram say mid 2015 moving on up and the relative strength mirroring the price bottoming in 2016 continuing with improvement here to uh, the current date as well as in the stochastics which actually looks like it bottomed here in mid 2015 and then the improvement in the last couple of years or so. One of the things that I'm going to look at here are these oscillators uh, again such as the Williams they do show improvement but what I don't see in the price and this is important is the price has moved up definitely without question over the last couple of years from say somewhere around just above 30 to the current price around 4940 but if you take a look at the actual price chart it doesn't look like the improvement 
is equal to or proportionate to what I see in some of the oscillators. The MACD is very similar but when you get into the histogram the histogram really shows a lot more improvement the relative strength shows decent improvement but the stochastics show quite a bit of improvement I think that's a little bit disproportionate as is the Williams improvement that improvement is disproportionate to what we see in the overall price so what I'm looking at is perhaps some good improvement but I'm not ready to buy and for disclosure purposes I do not own USO or ConocoPhillips but what I think I'm going to see here in the future is we're starting to get some congestion at the the EMAs the 20 the 50 and the 200 it's going to take a little more effort to push through these uh, moving averages and it looks like there may be some overhead resistance for a while based on uh, those trend lines and again with the disproportionate move I think we might have a, a bit of consolidation that's going to come here in the future I don't expect it to get back down to the uh, 30 price level it uh, may hit 40 and may go through 40 but I think this this period of time here uh, needs to uh, show a little bit more improvement and it just doesn't it doesn't show the the same move that we see here say on the stochastic this is a pretty good move up here I don't see that in the monthly so for now I'm not going to go and look at the weekly or the daily simply because I'm not convinced that this is a stock that uh, is ready to be purchased at least by me I'm going to hold off for the future I'll come visit this uh, say in a, a few months maybe a couple of quarters we'll see if um, the price has consolidated and if I'm right that it consolidates here to at 40 maybe even below that and I expect that say in the probably the next couple of quarters however the improvement is clear and I think with oil being at fifty dollars a barrel if uh, they do intend on keeping production somewhat flat and improving the return for investors this is a stock that uh, might prove to be good in the future for now that's chew dog charts thank you